What is up, YouTube? It's James here from J Ray Games, and I am back with another video on PSVR on PC. And today we are playing King Spray Graffiti VR, an awesome game, and you don't want to miss this. King Spray Graffiti, what an awesome game. Basically, the point of the game is to go and vandalize a side of a building in VR so that you're not actually going out and doing it in real life. And it's a really, really amazing how the, the physics of spraying on a wall in VR are exact or at least ridiculously close to what they're like in real life and not not that i know from experience but you're gonna see here that this game not only plays wonderfully with the psvr but it tracks perfectly um, i'm using no load today but you could you could easily set this up for ps move with just two uh, ps3 cameras that's going to work really well because it is a front facing game uh, it tracks really, really nicely, and uh, it's it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun, and the the, th the great thing about this game, before I go into the video of how to set it up and how to do it, great thing about this game is that there's no real rules to it. You're not going to be like, oh, I need to do this mission or that objective or no. You just go and have fun, create some original artwork, and then share it with people. You can even invite your friends and play with them as well. Um, but what I thought is a, that, that's really impressive is the customization of the colors and, and of the, uh, the nozzles and all the interesting things that go into this game that um, make it much more than just a, a spray can on a wall type simulator. Alright, so I'm going to show you the gameplay. I'm going to actually go into my room to play. If you see my other videos, you know what I'm talking about. If you need to know how to set this up, watch my other videos. It'll explain but let's get going. All right, we're ready to go here, and I'm gonna start up the usual way with trying this PSVR. Get that loaded up, get that running. I've got NOLO turned on. If you're using PS Move, turn it off, you don't need it. Um, I have a bit of a height adjustment here. Um, I always find that I'm using this. I don't know about you guys, maybe you wanna comment below. Um, I find I use the height and forward a little bit to get it perfect. I think that's a fantastic feature. Um, and so the rest is pretty much the str is straightforward. I'm going to just start it up. We'll get it going here, get it calibrated, and we should be good to go to play. I'm going to get my Steam running. And actually, what I'm going to do, I've done this before, is I just turn off my internet. Um, I find it just, it loads faster. Um, because there's no connection it's not trying to download or update or whatever I just I like it better without it turned on and I'm gonna load up my Steam VR all of these are loading in admin mode there's my screen I can just yeah it's saying it cannot connect to the server that's fine here's my window that I'm gonna send over and again, all this should be pretty straightforward. If you followed my other videos or you've been doing this for a while, then you know what all this means and what all this does. Now I'm ready. As you can tell, it was pretty straightforward and easy to get set up. I got King Spray on my desktop here. It is a Steam VR game, so it's just going to run right away in Steam VR. It's got a nice mirror window, so you're going to be able to see what I see. Okay, we're ready to play. I got my camera facing the play area, and I'm going to launch King Spray Graffiti. Here we go. It's got a great little mirror window that comes up. So we know... You guys can see what I'm seeing. There we go. I'm going to get over here. I'm going to get my VR on. Hopefully you guys can see me. Ignore the messy hair. Oh, yeah. Here we go. This is great. So hopefully you guys can see, I have got my um, play area in front of me. 
And I don't know, it's like some kind of DJ table. It's the mixing boards, and uh, I'm in some kind of a room here. I'm just gonna run through the tutorial with you guys. You can see how to play this, um, but it is really, really clever. So let's go to the tutorial. You hear that music? The music's great. All right, it's a great. I find it's really a relaxing way to pass the time. It's not like I would ever go and tag a wall, but still. Alright. Okay, man. Here we go. I got the spray can. You guys can see that. I'm just going to go over to the wall. Now, here's the wall. You can also teleport by aiming at the wall. But once teleported, it will move you into a perfect spot for spray. Give it a go. Okay. So you can see I am in front of the wall now, and the wall looks re unbelievably realistic. Unbelievable. So check it out now. I got my trigger finger, and I'm just going to spray on the wall. You can see how accurate this is. It's pretty incredible. Okay. So the closer I get to the wall, I can make small strokes. Like so. Change the paint color. Click the touch pad left and right. Okay. The and the farther I get away, I can make kind of just like a, a soft spray. All right. So let's go and change okay, cool. our colors. We can just cycle through. You can see some of the, the pre-made colors here. Hopefully you guys can see I'm moving it up so you can see. And I'm going to pick a Isla Rose. Now it's going to be like a red color instead. It is so realistic looking. It's crazy. It's so realistic. Change color group. Click the okay, color. and then you got different color groups you can see here by going up and down. So different shades or different types of colors in. So if I want a blue, for example, there's a blue. I can switch between these different blues. Smurf. This is like, I think it's like the Logitech symbol or something. <laughs> okay, anyways, on this hand, I tilt my hand backwards, and you will see that I, how come it, there, what the heck? Why is it not showing up here? Oh, I got a flashlight. Pretty can, wicked. Undo, redo, and more. Pick a color, aim the spray can at the menu until you see the <laughs> selection beam. Okay. Squeeze the trigger to select the color. I don't know why it's not showing up with my paint selections on this hand. Normally it does. Seems like a bit of a, a glitch on this pick a color, uh, spray can tutorial. But let's go back to the home. Let's go back beam. home. Now, we let's go back to the bunker and let's choose a location because I already know how to play this game. So we're going to head back to where we started. Here we are in the main room. There we go. And I'm just going to go to a single player area. I'm going to pick Top Dog Auto Repair. Here we go. Okay. So I'm going to pick different locations, which is really cool that you can go to different places. It's not just one spot so now I'm in a totally different place I'm on a different rooftop got a different wall to work with and I'm going to just teleport over to that wall like so and uh, my colors oh there they are they're down there okay I screwed up so here I don't know how well this shows I hope I'm gonna get in my line of sight so you guys can see but in my color selector I have all sorts of things, like I can undo what I just did, I can clean the wall, I can pick different colors, set the pressure of how hard the ink goes on, how metallic the ink is, and then I can change the nozzles, the actual, I don't know, I'm going to try to get that to show because I know your view is different than mine, but there's the nozzles, and you can choose different ones to have different effects of how it sprays on the wall. So let's just start, let's just start making something here, I'm going to just pick a red. 
Gonna make it really metallic. It's not really red. I'm trying to get more of a red color. Okay, I'm just gonna spray on the wall. And as you can see, it responds beautifully to what I'm doing. Okay, and it, it tracks awesome. Now the cool thing is, guys, what, what you're not getting in the 2D version is how realistic that looks when you are in the VR. Um, it really, really looks incredible to be able to see that. It looks like wet ink on the wall, all right? And when I get close to this, I can, I can look at my artwork from all sorts of angles, obviously, I can get close up. And it's really clever, like I said, how this plays. All right, I'm going to just try to show you a different nozzle here. Um, pink dot. 100% um, beef, I don't know what that is. Let's try a, a, a white. But you can see how each nozzle sprays the ink in different ways so you can create different effects on your artwork based on the nozzle that you pick anyways this, this is a lot of fun um, and the cool thing is you can take your uh, artwork after and you can share it with people who have done other designs and you can join them in multiplayer and, and make a whole new amazing uh, work of art together there's my amazing I don't know what it is okay don't don't judge all right this wasn't this wasn't an art lesson this was how to play how to play King spray VR King spray graffiti VR anyways that's about it that's kind of the basics of the game um, if I go back to my menu on my this hand um, I'll just head back to the bunker you will see that you have all sorts of options here. You can play your own music with Boombox. Um, you can save your work. You can load your work. You can change location, like I said. Got some options as far as the way the game plays. In your bunker, that's where you can switch between single player and multiplayer. You got tutorial mode and all that good stuff. So there's a lot you can do here. The game is super cheap, and it runs really, really excellent, and it feels good. It feels like you're, you're here on, in this location. And rather than going and tagging real buildings in real life, uh, you can do it virtually so that you get your designs perfect. And then you can go and... No, I'm just kidding. If, you, if you're into that, I don't know. But uh, anyways, really, really cool. So I'm going to switch back to the computer now. Well, guys, that is King Spray Graffiti VR. Hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you try it out. It's a great game, a great way to test your, your VR system to see if it's tracking properly. Um, and it's it's front facing so it's relatively easy to set up um, make sure to comment make sure to subscribe make sure to like all that good stuff and you know what guys I want to say this make sure you share this with other people that you know who have PSVRs it'd be great to have more people using V uh, PSVRs as their headset it helps out the community it helps out VR in general um, I got tons of great videos coming up soon um, you're going to see a lot of updates now that it's summer. I'm going to be posting a lot more. So stay tuned. Till next time, thanks for watching.